What's good everybody, it is Ida from Afro Kicks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna share with you the ultimate Christmas gift guide for sneaker customizers. If you have a, a brother that's a customizer, a sister, a cousin, an auntie, a mum, a dad, a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, <laughs> this guide is gonna help you buy something special for their Christmas gift. This list is full of things that I personally would love. I posted on my Insta story asking customizers out there what kind of gifts they would like. And yeah, this gift list, guys, is the ultimate because nobody is going to give you all, all of these products in one. I've separated this list into three different topics, starting from the history and the research side of customization, then jumping into the actual customizing itself, and then the packaging when you are shipping off all your amazing artwork to the world. So the first one on my list is the one that I am constantly thinking about, constantly um, dreaming about, constantly wanting, and that is storage space. Space, um, I don't have a lot of space. If you guys are able to give somebody with a spare room or a garage, or maybe even just a corner of the house that they could use to set up their little studio or their customizing workspace, then that will be highly appreciated. Heck, if you're able to buy them a whole studio, then boy, they're gonna love you for the rest of their life. My next suggestion is this book. It's called Art and Soul Contemporary Sneaker and Art Design. I'm a big fan of doing your research and looking into past customizers and past artists and just getting different sources of inspiration. And this book right here, as you can see, I've got some post-it notes um, I need to look through again, but literally, let me just flick right through it. It has got different artists, different styles, and there's lots and lots of inspiration. Like, oh my God. By the way, I'm gonna put all the links in the description box where you can buy these products if you do decide to purchase them. The next one is Out of the Box, The Rise of Sneaker Culture. This is another one of those thick history books that I absolutely love. As you can see, all of my post-it notes in here can show you how much I love it. This, I say, would be amazing for those who want to create their own sneakers, like make their own brand because it really just gives you the whole entire history of how sneakers became a fashion item and how it all began. So this right here is an amazing, amazing book. Another amazing book for sneaker heads, sneaker customizers, enthusiasts is Sneaker Freaka, the ultimate sneaker book. I myself don't have this book and somebody out there, if you're watching, I will highly appreciate it if you were to buy me this book. I think these three books combined is an awesome, awesome Christmas gift. Something that every sneaker customizer needs is shoes to practice on. You can buy some really cheap leather styled shoes from Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And this is especially good for those who are starting, like starting out their whole customizer journey. Oh, the next one I also want is an iPad. iPads are really good for like sketching out your designs. You can use Procreate on the iPad. And that's also really great if you are trying to create a pair for a client and they want to know what it's going to look like beforehand. So an iPad is a really useful tool for sneaker customizers and artists in general. A course that can teach you how to customize a pair of sneakers, how to create a pair from scratch. You, there's so many different courses out there. Some of them are even online. So a sneaker course teaching you how to customize, how to create your own would be an amazing gift. I personally just went on a one week course with London Sneaker School, learning how to make some Air Max ones and that was like, an amazing experience. If you could gift somebody with a customization course that they can either attend in person or online, that would be like an amazing gift because some of them are up in the thousands and thousands. Moving on to the actual customization section of this, first one would be a gift card for some shoes. Giving a sneaker customizer a gift card for Nike, for JD Sports, for Foot Locker, for off whatever it may be, where they can actually just go and buy sneakers. That in itself is an amazing gift. Paints, paints, 
paints, leather, acrylic paints, Angelus paints, Jacquard paints. I can't think of any others on the top of my head, but paints. I would suggest getting someone Angelus paints. I would, like I said, there's gonna be links in the description box but those are like the almost the industry standard it's kind of like what all of us start off using and continue using because it's the one that everyone on youtube uses and instagram and it's the one that we all know and love depending where you are in the world you can either buy them straight from the angelus website which if you're us based that's going to be the best option probably um but if you're in the uk using a page like sneaker science to buy them or Amazon or just different places that sell them because we always run out of paint. I always need some black paint, always need some white paint, always need some blue paint, some yellow paint, some red paint, all of the paints. If you could get me all of them, I would highly appreciate it. They even sell like big ones, like a pint. I think it's a pint, a pint bottle of paints. And that one is like lasts a long time. So something that big, would be great a stencil cutter oh my gosh i can't tell you how much getting a stencil cutter i got my silhouette cameo how much that changed my life say if they have a a design that they really want to put onto a pair of shoes but they want it to look crisp and clean so like the gucci designs for example making sure that the logos are really nice and crisp using a stencil cutter to create stencils is amazing of course you can also buy stencils online places like etsy sell stencils um vinyl stencils having your own machine and there's so much you can do with it like it's the, the opportunities are endless i sit here I'm like raw i can make a cake top from my stencil cutter i can make t-shirts i can make jumpers i can do whatever i want to do with a stencil cutter and with a stencil cutter you're going to also need some vinyl sheets or vinyl roll those two go hand in hand you need something to cut out to then put onto the shoes and with the vinyl you're going to also need some transfer tape so those are three things you'll need the stencil cutter you'll need the vinyl to cut and then the transfer tape to transfer the vinyl from the sheet onto the shoes those three all in the description another time saver is an airbrush airbrushes are very useful sometimes tricky tools to have but they are like <laughs> i can't explain how quickly you can get a custom done compared to if you were to just freehand it with a paintbrush i bought one when i first started it was probably about Mm, 35 dollars maybe if i'm correct maybe it was 60. i don't use the actual airbrush anymore because that got clogged up and i decided to upgrade it but what came with it was a compressor so you're going to need an air compressor that you plug in um so it comes with like the the wall socket and also the cable that you connect to the airbrush so this stuff came with it all nice and cheap and it also came with a cheap airbrush but i would recommend getting a more like expensive airbrush so i later on upgraded to an eye water and this is my eye water and i love my eye water this one came without the air compressor you can buy a pack with like the air compressor and a cheap airbrush if you are buying it for someone who is just starting out that will probably be really useful and then you can also later on buy the eye water eclipse yeah, this is the, this is the one that i have with the airbrush you're gonna want to get an airbrush cleaning kit as well so say if they already have an airbrush maybe they might just need the airbrush cleaning kit that's gonna be a lifesaver like literally a lifesaver it will stop you having to buy a whole new machine if you want to as well you can get them some airbrush thinner like you could buy like a little airbrush little packet so say they already have an airbrush kit just get them some cleaning tools and like a thinner something that they could use to really help with their airbrushing another airbrush tool is the airbrush spray booth now when you're airbrushing it can get really messy so having a booth where you can contain where the spray is going and sometimes you can have one that has like a, a ventilator thing that you can attach to the window or something i don't know where it goes but having a booth like that where you can have a separate section in your room or wherever it may be so that when you're spray painting it stays in a nice confined area all pots 
I I like to use uh, sealable pots when I'm using my paints when I'm customizing because say if I've created a color and I want to be able to use it later on or if I'm doing a custom and I'm going to carry it on to the next day I like to make sure that my paints are sealed nicely so that they don't dry out also like bottles as well you know like the travel size bottles or bigger where say if there's a custom color that they like to use a lot they can just create a big bulk of it and then keep it in that bottle so that every time they need to use it they can just squirt it in and that is done heat guns are really useful heat guns dry your paint really really quickly heat guns can cut down a lot of time heat guns I use a lot when I'm using stencils as well because when you use your stencil you want to make sure that the stencil sticks to the shoe nicely before actually airbrushing on your paint or painting with a paintbrush on because when it's stuck nicely there's less likely going to be any leakage so using a heat gun is really really helpful another thing that us customizers always need is paint brushes i don't know what it is but they just die really quickly if you don't know how to look after them properly and i'm always in need of a number two round paintbrush so if you guys have any lying around <laughs> come send them to me because um those are the ones that i'm always in need of so getting them a pack of paint brushes would be super super helpful like a never ending supply of paint brushes who doesn't want that oh masking tape is another one of those things masking tape and vinyl tape or vinyl electrical tape whatever they call it it's another one of those things that i'm always in need of um and good masking tape not not just any regular masking tape from around the corner you need something that will nicely stick to the lining of the pair of shoes or stick to the shoes properly and not just start to flick up as soon as you use your heat gun or something like that you need something that will protect the shoes when you're painting imagine a big box of masking tape like a big gift box of masking tape I would, I would be happy cotton pads or cotton balls or whatever you want to call it that along with some acetone i would be grateful for a good acrylic finisher i've used acrylic finishes and i can say that my favorite one is one by liquid kicks and that is their matte acrylic finisher and i think that is the best finisher because it doesn't make it all glossy it has this nice finish and it, it's matte like it says what it's going to do so this beautiful machine behind me let me show you this machine is what i use when i'm sewing fabric onto my shoes see this it's a singer 29k it's old it can be expensive and it can be hard to find um, but I bought mine from eBay for about I think about $900 there about um, so if you could find somebody selling this stuff it's not like a website where you can just buy it from because it is really old so they don't make them anymore whoever has them has them so um, buying something like this I know there's a lot of customizers out there that want something like this and I'm sure there's other cobbler machines that you could buy but I personally don't know any other like this is all I know because this is all I use but there are people out there that use maybe cheaper machines but if you want to get someone something really really good really annoying as well because they are old and they have their problems but getting them a singer 29k I'm telling you they would they would love you forever especially if they want to get into sewing fabric onto their shoes or like creating their own shoes from scratch they can use something like this as well okay now we're into the packaging section i've recently really gotten into my um, packaging stuff i've upgraded i've ordered some stuff branding is really important if you have someone that you know that is a sneaker customizer and they have their branding on point or they have their logo done and you want to help them upgrade their packaging so when they send it to their customer they're like oh what is this basically having customized packaging something that brings your business to the next level i use a company called no issue where i print out i'll show you exactly what i've got from them actually recently ordered some stickers from them i also have some customized tape so when I send my packaging, 
I don't have like custom boxes yet because they, they are really not cheap. But when I do have my, my normal cardboard boxes that I send by the post office, I use this tape. So this is the kind of tape that you have to wet on this side and then you put on so it has my logo on it. I also have this tissue paper that I basically put my shoes in inside like the Nike box, whatever shoes I'm customizing. Put my sticker on. Also like business cards or like all these different things that you can think of that you want to put in packaging, thank you cards. Getting them something that can up their business level would be um, like amazing because they're not cheap and they're something that we tend to do later on as our business builds up so um, getting them something from the start would be really really nice. I use a Dymo 4XL label printer. This is good because if they use Shopify for example you can automatically connect it to your Shopify and print it straight from Shopify so like all the labels can start printing and printing and printing. If you're in the US this is a lot easier to use. Us in the UK we kind of struggle because we have to do it like one at a time because of the whole post office and whatever whatever but um, it's super useful and it's more professional to use rather than having to hand write all of your your names and your addresses and all that kind of thing and it just saves a lot of time. Yeah a label printer is something that every business owner really I think every online business owner needs so there we go oh and a scale if you're gonna use this you kind of need to know the measurements like how much stuff weigh and I just use a cheap kitchen scale so that's something as well you can look into Woo! all right I believe that concludes the ultimate Christmas gift list for sneaker customizers hopefully you can find something in your price range or that you feel like you're brother, your cousin, your auntie, your sister, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your grandma, your papa, your son, your daughter could use. If you do end up buying anything from this list, comment down below and let me know how they reacted. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.